Hey folks, Chris Waters here. PAX East 2014, it's the final day, and Danny, you have been talking to me about Transistor, a yes. game you got to play this weekend, and uh, if you folks don't know this game, it's it's beautiful for one, mm. but uh, lay the groundwork for these okay. for our fine viewers. So Bastion uh, was the game that Supergiant launched a couple of years ago. Yes. Shout out to Greg Kasavin, former Gamespot hey. editor. Hey -o. Uh, this is uh, I will you know it's not a sequel. It is very much in the same vein uh, okay. as Bastion. It is an isometric um, adventure game that is heavily based on combat. It's mm -hmm. mostly linear, um, and combat is the key. And as with Bastion, which was a game which had a relatively simplistic combat system, which sort of evolved and became interesting as the game progressed. Yep. Uh, Transistor is a, is a game where the combat is is key to how engaged you are and how much how enjoyable the, the experience actually and is. And is that the kind of thing you can like get a feel for during a show floor demo? Because yeah. so many of these things, you know, it's it takes a little while to get into it, but uh, you know, it's such a distinct combat system yeah. in Transistor. Well, I guess I wonder if this is to do with Greg being part of the games press for a while, but those guys are real good at making demos for show floors. Oh, really? It's just as well because the, the queue for that, or the line, yeah, was, was pretty big. Totally. Um, yeah, so it's real good. The, the demo I played basically introduced you uh, with the, the titular character, this lady who's got this ridiculously big sword. Mm -hmm. There is a voice speaking to you, um, as it is in Bastion, kind of narrating the game. Uh, you start off with one power, they quickly introduce a second one, a third one, and a fourth one. And what they also introduce is the ability to stop time, which then turns it from a general action isometric uh, hack and slasher into yeah. a turn-based almost uh, uh, fighting game uh, so it stops time you can have a certain amount of like points you can spend based sure. on distance moved uh, and, 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 and the attacks you use mm -hmm. uh, or the, the defensive mechanisms as well one of the ones I unlocked was a was something which got you to dash away really quickly okay so you plan those out Hit right trigger again, bam, 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 bam. It already happens quick, uh -huh. and then you have to rely on the using those exact same um, moves just in, in general time until your bar uh, to high, evade gets up the counterattack or yeah. whatever threat still remains. But that's it, yeah. And that's the thing that I think has been capturing a lot of people's interest is the way that it does transition from that hack and slash to that planning, that strategic. Because yeah. you know, there's some strategy in how you you're, you you may go about the action, but when you're pausing to think about it, yeah. it takes on a whole different feel. And that's, I think, that is a fair criticism of Bastion, perhaps, is that that is a type of game where you can run through as just hitting everything. Uh -huh. Like, there is a, a, a layer of strategy that you can employ, but you don't necessarily have to. What happened when I, I kind of had a eureka moment when I hit it for the first time, I was like, oh, this bomb thing, this like AOE one, would actually work really well if I was in that position. Uh -huh. But because now I can actually see, when you play these games, there's yeah. so much happening, you are often just involved in it, unless mm -hmm. you really take time to try and plan something. Whereas in this, you can stop, check it out, you're looking at like the areas of effect for the shots, you're looking at the angles, because just like Bastion, you were like using the D-pad to like see where you're hitting the them and stuff. Up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it, 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 it makes it more interesting, and then also you tend to employ those tactics when you're not in the real the turn-based mode as well. Like you bring it back out, like you're learning. Yeah, that's yeah. a cool sort of feedback loop. Right? Yeah. Like the, the tactics you you plan out strategically, then become part of your active mm. repertoire. Very cool. Well, yeah. you folks have been seeing this game in action here in this vid, but Danny, the, like, to, art style was something that Supergiant yeah. came out so strong with with Bastion. And though this one, you know, you can see the, the through line of mm. the general artistic approach, it looks very different. Yeah, yeah, and it, it, but it also looks similarly gorgeous yeah. and sounds great. Like for a really small team, they have a very high level of polish on the games they create, mm -hmm. and Transistor is very much like that as well. So it sounds wonderful. The music, the effect of that voice talking in your head, um, and also shout out to Greg. The storytelling is as interesting as it was in Bastion. Ooh. Like again, probably tailored for this demo, real good. Oh, of course. With the reveals. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a game that that I think perhaps for a lot of people, Bastion was interesting because of the story or because of the graphics and whatnot. Uh, this has this as well, but the combat is immediately more engaging from the off. Um, which I think is, is uh, going to make it really exciting when it comes out next month, May, yeah, like May 20th. Next month? Yeah. They, Play, they, they, PlayStation they 4 and PC. Know. So we won't be looking at it on show floors of expos around the world anymore. And you It'll won't have to look available. at it on internet videos with two <laughs> devilishly handsome people, one of whom has an out-of-control ego. That's... <laughs> figure that one out for yourself. <laughs>